Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for August 28th through September 3rd. Now this is intended, well I usually do love readings but we'll see what comes up. I want to thank all my subscribers, watchers, commenters, and um, likes. I appreciate all your support. Mmm. Death card. New beginning. Perfect. It's actually a really good card. It means that you are about to start something new, something major. A transformation in your life is on the horizon. And it's karmic. Holy camoly. Okay, it looks like it's a it's a form of absolution. Okay, it looks like something has ended and you're about to start a brand new journey. Okay, um, you're about to have an epiphany. I already shuffled these a couple times before I hit record for you, Aries. A couple of pages. Hmm. It looks like it's great. It looks like you're about to start a new phase of your life that is meant to be. You know, there's a, there's an epiphany coming in. All of a sudden, think there's a breakthrough. Okay, and it brings in love. Okay, it's 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 a really um, beautiful um, emotional love. Okay, that. is real it's a, you know it looks like there's some uh a new feeling of love okay that perhaps you haven't experienced before um and it could be something just very very it's a beautiful feeling put it that way the next card is the page of swords <coughs> this is about um It's something that happens very quickly, okay? And perhaps there's a lot of talk around the town or something. I'm not sure. Maybe there's some gossip in your life this week. You know, maybe um, somebody sees what's going on in your life and they're talking about it. Perhaps, you know, you're maybe you're talking about it. Perhaps you're so happy about what's going on. You know, your wishes are starting to be fulfilled. It looks like um, there's a lot of happiness this week. Oh, well, things change fast now, don't they? Okay. Um, so, with the magician as above, so below. So that means that it is connected to this karma card. Karma is real, all right? As above, so below. This is about your connectedness to the divine. There is some divine connectedness here. And I think that you are becoming more one with the universe all right i see is so much happiness in love okay and i think that you previously you know this is why you're transforming because you can't live here anymore you can't live in this despair you can't be in this state anymore so it's time for this transformation and that's when you you change okay that's when the magician comes out and you start to use your inner resources to um manifest love okay or to to show love all right um and perhaps you start showing love very very quickly or love comes in very very quickly because i see a lot of love this week um which is fantastic okay um and i think it's an honest oh i do it's funny i hadn't even seen that card yet i was going with this one I think it's an honest love. I think it's something that's very true to its word. Okay, whatever this is, whatever's going on right now during this week is very um, clear cut. There's no, there's no doubt. Okay, there's no doubt of what this is. It looks like your, your wishes. You feel like you're very content. You feel like your, your wishes are starting to be fulfilled. It seems like it's a very loving week. Um, even with your family, it can be, there's a lot of family love going on here. I think that things transform from feeling very, you know, depressed and maybe even ill, you know, feeling ill to feeling, you know, turning it around and 
acting more loving towards others and perhaps others are being more loving towards you and people are starting to see it so I think there might be some talk about it you know they're like wow you know I think um there's a cutting there's a cutting through okay there's a breakthrough there is definitely a breakthrough twice there's a breakthrough in your life where love starts to come to the forefront the worst is over okay the worst is over so whatever part in your life that was um, holding you back whatever part in your life that was um, halting you from experiencing wholeness is over okay so right this is the ten of swords this is like another death card it really is and you have it here when this you have death here and you have the ten of swords I mean it literally looks like he's dead okay <laughs> but when something dies something new becomes so that's what that means it looks like whatever thought process this was that was causing maybe it was an illness or a major depression or a complete sense of despair is over okay it's over you can only go up from here here we have the knight of pentacles it looks like you've been waiting for this i think you have i think that you've been waiting for this and it's finally coming perhaps the the delays are starting to not be so much delayed perhaps you're seeing forward movement again we have the truth this is the truth okay Something is coming about where you start to honor your truth, okay? Um, I think that you are starting to look at things from a new perspective. I think there's been a breakthrough in your life, and you're starting to really, really focus on love. I see that there's a lot of love. And this was the problem in the past because it's connected to this transformation. This is exactly it. We'll get the rest of the cards. Okay, this one right here is where this person, this guy is saying, wait, stop. Do you see the love? Do you see the love? Or do you just see what's in the cups? I mean, there's possessions, money, home, you know, material things, tangible things in the cup. Okay. So this is a choice. You choose love or you choose the material things. And I see that that's, what you're, that's your transformation. Where the material things start to matter less and love starts to matter more. Okay, because you were only deceiving yourself by putting materialistic things first. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying perhaps you weren't giving enough time to love. Or you were... Um, focusing too much on work and not giving time to love, you know, or not giving it the, um, yeah, it's time. It's time. Not giving it the time that it needed to grow. You weren't giving, putting it as a top priority. And I think now things are starting to move to a top priority. This right here is perhaps you realized you have enough to survive. Perhaps you realize, you, you realize that you can handle anything. You realize that you are strong and you are dependable and wise and responsible. Okay? Instead of deceiving yourself and thinking that things were this way when they really they weren't, when really you do have enough to survive. Okay? I think that this week is focusing on, on more love, whereas before you were probably focusing your time on work or not giving the attention to love that it needed. And I think that this week there's some kind of transition and um, things start to change. And a breakthrough happens in your life. Ace of Swords again. There's no doubt about it. Something, there's a raw potential, okay, for clarity. So you're about to get some clarity in your life in regards to how you feel about love, okay? There's no doubt about it. And perhaps there's even a celebration. 
perhaps there's some kind of celebration that makes you get the clarity. You know, maybe, you know, it's the end of any difficult situations that you've had regarding love, okay? Whatever difficulty you've been going through is now over. And it looks like you're going to feel like, you're going to feel almost like, overly loving okay that's what i see i sees i sees i sees that you are um focusing more on love than you have been in the past and that could even be loving yourself or somebody is loving you letting go you are letting go of something and it's you're letting go of something that um you're looking at things from a new perspective and you're letting go of the past i think you're letting go of the need to um hold on to something whatever it was what the hell were you holding on to negative thoughts maybe could be um This is getting to the other side, okay? Pushing through, getting to the other side. Pushing through any dilemmas, you know, pushing through the hardships, pushing through the thorns to get to the other side. But you do get to the other side because this is a 10, okay? So when that 10 of wands comes up, it means that you worked to get here. It didn't just come to you. You worked for it. Okay, you have, you're making your wishes come true. You are fulfilling your dreams. You are doing that. Okay, and that is, that is the truth. I mean, they, we got a lot of truth here. We got a lot of um, honest truth here. Things, clarity. Things being completely clear at this time. And I think that's why love is coming to the floor, 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 floor front. <laughs> because... I think that you, you, you're changing. I see a major transformation, definitely. Whereas before, this is the Four of Cups, where you're not even thinking about love. But this is here where you're trying to change, okay? You're going to have a break. Oh, my God. It, it is over. However you've been feeling is, is completely over. You have a lot of tens, okay? Tens are about completions in your life. When a 10 comes up, it means that something has ended to begin something new. Again, with that death card, a period of your life, I think it may have had something to do with negative thoughts and perhaps for focusing more on materialistic things rather than love is over. And love is not just uh, loving another person, like physical love. It's giving, it's caring, it's nurturing, it's kindness. It's gentleness. It's being kind to everybody. There's so much things that that love is about. So I'm thinking that that's where you're coming, going to. Whereas before you were focusing more on yourself and your financial foundation and building your home and, and taking care of you and work. Now you're probably start thinking this week that you want to offer what you have to others. Because I see that you're going through a major transformation in your life, at least tense, and the death card, okay? And things are going to happen very, very quickly, very quickly, okay? There's a lot of fast-moving energy here. I think as soon as you change your thoughts, okay, something ends. There is going to be an ending. There is an ending with the tens and the death. Something is ending so that something better can begin, and this better thing has to do with generosity, has to do with love, kindness, um, giving, um, emotional support, feeling so happy. So I think it goes from negative. This is a strong week, obviously. So it goes from feeling negative, despair, like near death, okay, to a transformation where you decide, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to put the take this into my own hands and I'm going to push through the bullshit, get to the other side. And 
And then you're going to want to give, 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 give. <laughs> so that is what I have for you, Aries. I, hey, hey, hey. I forgot to zoom it in. Damn it all. Sorry about that. Strong energy. It came to me quick, too. Boy, did it come quick. So this is going to happen quick. You're going to have a transformation in your life. A big one. Where you change from negative thoughts to positive thoughts. And you go from perhaps working too much to giving your time and love and energy and kindness and generosity. That's what I see. So, um, yeah. That was quick. <laughs>